everyone, I'm Holly, and today I'm making a brand new rainbow themed soap. This one is going to be rainbow mint chip. I'm going to put in the coconut milk, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in my micas as well. So I have some winter white, and I also have a mix of greens. This is a layered soap. So I'm going to get this blended in well first. And now I'm going to put in the light solution. And I'll get that blended in nicely. Now the green is probably going to change a little bit to a darker look until it saponifies and comes back. It just reacts to the lye a little differently. And now I'm going to add in the fragrance. I am using raw sugar and mint from Wholesale Supplies Plus. So if you go back to the Christmas season, you know that I was making a lot of mint soaps and my blend was getting really dark well I guess we know what the culprit is but don't worry it'll come back I think I need to stir this up with my spatula a little bit so holy moly that is definitely the culprit I had mixed a whole bunch of peppermints together so I wasn't quite sure which one was doing it I did suspect it was this one but now we know but no worries, it's going to be fine. It will be fine. We just have to use our imagination. So I want it just to be thick enough that it's at a light trace, but I also want it to be thin enough that it will pour out and smooth out. I don't want to have to wait too long in between batches, but this plays rather nicely. It's quite thin. Alright, we're getting more at a light trace. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this. Now I have my mold set over here where I want it, so I'm not going to move it over. But you'll be able to see a little bit here. I'm going to have three main layers and then a little bit of a topper layer. I have been making so many layered soaps recently. I get on kicks sometimes. At this stage, I've made rainbow and flannel and amber, which had stripes this time. And I've also made sweetly clean, which has a stripe on the bottom. So yeah, this is fun. All right, that seems like it's going to set up fairly quickly, so I am going to clean up and I will prep for the next one. All right, so here we are in the middle layer. I'm going to put in more of the winter white mica. I'm going to put in some titanium dioxide. I'm gonna put in the coconut milk. And I'm going to give it a good blend. And now for the light solution again. And I'm 
and in with the fragrance oil. This one is a little bit different. I had a little bit of my Christmas peppermint still mixed up. So I used a little bit of that. So it does have some peppermint essential oil in it as well. Alright, so it's not going to quite have the same effect in, in the raw soap form, but next we're going to add in some chips, rainbow chips. This stick blender and I are kind of awkward today. And I want it to be thick enough to hold the rainbow chips, but thin enough to spread out still, so... It's gonna be a little bit interesting. Let's just see how it goes. So here we have the rainbow chips. Aren't they cute? I cut them from my rainbow pear soap. And so I'm gonna go ahead, so I'll do this side, add these in. Aren't they pretty? Love that. Okay, so we're gonna get those stirred in. So fun. So it's definitely really thin. It's not even at a trace. So I'm just gonna let this one sit for a moment, kinda let it hold, because I don't want all the chips to, well, it doesn't look like they're, they're not really sinking, but with the pressure of the pour, they could sink down a little bit. So we're just gonna wait just for a moment on this one. All right, so this has gotten quite a bit thicker as you can tell. It's only been a couple of minutes. So I'm going to attempt to pour this. I probably went a little awkward on this one, but once I get the weight of it on, it should be fine. Well, we're really having to use our imagination with this one. It'll be fine though. I'm not going to scrape this much because the uh, colors did add some bulk to it. It's time for the final layer. Putting in as every batch coconut milk. Winter white mica. I'm going to put in, well, yeah, I'm probably gonna put in the titanium dioxide. I do want this to be quite white. I'm not gonna add the fragrance oil into this one because I do want it just to be a nice white. The other may end up being more of a cream, but we'll see. All right, so it's out of trace and that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it on so that I get the layers smooth and then I will texture it a bit. So it is going to take it a little bit to thicken up, but I do want it all smoothed out nice in the first place. So I'm going to go ahead and flood it on like everything else I've been doing. Because it's kind of a thinner layer. I don't usually go quite so thin, typically. I'll get the remainder of this on and then I will come back when it's ready to finish up. It's not super thick, but we're gonna go with it because I've been waiting for a while and it's Friday night and six o'clock and I'm ready to be done. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a drizzle and the dip and the drizzle, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm 
My plan for this soap was to be kind of a cake look. I was going to do more layers and I realized that the layers were going to be super thin and I didn't want super thin layers for this particular design. So I went with just the three and I'm loving this. This is looking so good. The best is yet to come. <laughs> the part I'm excited about. This is how I do cakes too, by the way. It's like swoosh and I play for way too long and then I top it with rainbow sprinkles because that's how I roll. That's how I cake. So, all right, let's go with that. And now I have these super adorable teeny tiny cubes, kind of like rainbow chip or funfetti or what have you. Hee <laughs> good is there? They're just so cute. So I may have too many here, but we're just gonna sprinkle the top. I used to love funfetti cakes. Those were one of my favorite until I decided that chocolate was where it was at, so. But you can still have funfetti icing. I haven't done that in ages though. Don't really make much for desserts ever since I started making soap. So, I've been getting into it a little bit more recently, making a treat on the weekends for my kiddos and my husband. I tend to make them and then don't really want to eat them myself. I don't know why that is. But, anywho, it's. Aren't these so pretty? I love this. Ha! <laughs> this is super fun. I am thinking about making cinnamon rolls this weekend. I haven't made those since Thanksgiving and I thought, hmm, that sounds good. Well, Pinterest decided that I should be interested in cinnamon rolls the other day, so it worked. I became very interested in making cinnamon rolls. So I don't know if I'm gonna use it all. I mean, because I kind of like the white, but yet each individual bar is going to be, you know, there's not going to be much there. So I guess I'll just put the rest on because it's super adorable and why not? Mm. This is good. This is good. I think I would like to do Get my other camera a little bit closer here, but we'll see. Hold on. Okay, so here we have the rainbow mint chip soap. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love how it turned out. I'll probably stand here for a moment and spread some of those cubes around. I will see you back here for the cut. Well, remember I said we had to use our imagination? Look how it turned out. It turned out so good. The colors are perfect. The white's white and the mint is minty and it worked out splendidly. So, Let's see what we got going on here. I need to grab it this way. Of course, the paper towel's stuck, like always. I have some new parchment sheets on the way, but they're just not quite here yet. Oh, it smells so good. I love it. It's uh, minty with some sugar. Love that. All right. I noticed that I have a little gap over here. So my, my loaves are always a little off kilter to get just the, the right cuts. That's okay. Now some of these are gonna pop off. These little squares are gonna pop a little bit. That's to be expected. 
Got a little scared there for a second. <laughs> I feel like I did cut it a little bit too wide here on the end, but I think it's all right. Isn't that pretty? Turned out exactly as I planned. I love it when a plan comes together. Let's make sure I don't cut it a little bit too wide this time. Lining it up at two and a half on my little measuring tape. And then I have a little piece of tape over here that I just have to line it up on. That looks good. Clean off the little wire. Here we go. Starting to get a little, a little shaky. I've been hauling a bunch of big blocks around and cutting a whole bunch today. I'm kind of getting a little tired already. A little con There's a conglomeration of blocks right there in the middle. That's going to be a fun couple of bars. Love it. So this was just a fun new design and it really came out exactly as I'd hoped. So I'm just as pleased as could be. I was a little concerned with the color as as I should have been concerned. But thankfully it does come back so yay. I probably should go leave a review on that because I don't remember seeing that mentioned in any of the reviews for this particular fragrance. As long as you know it's going to come back, it's really no big deal. I'm cutting four rainbow soaps today and four It's Just Good soaps today. Oop, I'm running, sorry about that, running right on the tripod. Okay. So I will reposition and come back to cut the bars. This rainbow mint chip soap is just spectacular. I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. Oh my goodness. I just love it. And the mint is perfect. Just a light, it's not light light, but it isn't a super duper crazy strong. This one has some sugar note so that's really pleasant it's been a while <laughs> since i split the loaves oh goodness because i was waiting to take pictures and it's just been so dark and cloudy and i was not getting good pictures so i held off a little bit Ugh, isn't that just adorable i'm hoping it's focused it's so dry right now that my eyeballs are dry and I'm having a hard time focusing myself. Oh, that's so pretty. And it was so shocking how yellow it was, right? Did you believe that it was going to turn out okay? I must say, I was a little nervous there for a bit, even though, you know, I knew it, but I was still a little nervous too. I'm so glad it turned out. My vision just perfect. Just absolutely perfect. So cute. I love this color. Just fantastic. It is awesome. We are in the deep freeze today and the power companies are asking everyone to conserve so I'm just up here long enough to get some pictures and film these so that I can actually have something to do. I don't have any hot water up here today. I know when this video goes up it'll probably be a month later maybe even more than that but for now that's what's going on. Ugh. This bar got all the cute little cubey things. So nice. That one did not get a lot inside on that side, 
but then I did get more on that side. These are so cute. Love this to the extreme. Okay, I need to get these out of the way so I can stack them over here. And I didn't stack them in a super straight line. I felt I felt like living on the wild side today, so I didn't go with the straight, super duper straight line. I'm just going to move them over to the train, which I am going to put them in a super duper straight line. Because that's just how we roll around here. We are straight liners. As long as I have a nice straight line, I'm pretty happy in life. <laughs> oh, golly. It's only 53 up here. It's gone up a couple of degrees. Oh, this one is cute. Look at that. It's so cute. Oh, I love it when a plane comes together. This is delightful. Mmm. Mmm. These ends get a little wonky because of the way the freezer paper goes and you know my molds are not 100 percent precision which is fine by me we make uh, concessions i guess for that to allow we split off the sides and we these ends we use for samples and such i just love the sound of the wires they get a little loud sometimes but i love them mm. cute cute patute nice okay that was a that was just a nice straight one i know you guys end up getting really focused on the keys there so i have one more to cut and that is the Mahoosive batch of rainbow soaps. And then I think I'll finally be caught up on all my soap cutting. That's cute too. Delightful. Okay. All right. Well, that is that. I thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you on the next one. I'll talk to you later. Bye.